chill in. Joining me to talk about it, we welcome back Vicki Ziegler, family law attorney. She's followed this as closely as anybody. Also with us, Dr. Mark Goulston, a psychiatrist, as we talk about the reunification of a father and a son, life moving forward. And also with us, we welcome back Mark DeAngelis, a friend of David Goldman. And Mark, I'll start with you. I know you've been tempered and cautious. Are you finally ready to celebrate, Mark? Not quite yet. I think we'll see with this deadline that's been set. Um, we're actually encouraged to hear that they have set a time deadline. I think that's important. There's been talk of some last-minute negotiations, perhaps on the side of the Brazilian family, trying to see if they can squeeze certain things out of the out of this arrangement. And there really, really isn't anything to negotiate from from our point of view. So we're we're thinking that this will happen. Hopefully, if not tonight, then early tomorrow morning. And it feels different, doesn't it, Mark DeAngelis? Well, you know, it's. If you think about it, this is now the third time in the last six months where he's been this close, and yet we're we're, we're past where we were the last two okay. times in the sense that we're it, it looks like it is actually going to happen this time. Okay, Vicky Ziegler, you've been as passionate as anybody about this. Do you think it's time to celebrate? I really do. I, I feel very optimistic. I think nobody's heard that the other side, the Brazilian family, um, has agreed not to file an appeal. I think they've come out publicly and said that. I think at this point, because there's this deadline for Sean to come home, uh, I believe that they, the family in Brazil, has finally come to the realization that no more, no more legal maneuvering, no more delay tactics. It's really time to put this family back intact. Yeah. Uh, let's let's listen to Sean's grandfather on David Goldman's side. Obviously, he's excited, uh, but cautious as well. Let's listen to that. I just feel, again, cautiously optimistic. I've been on the top of this roller coaster so many times to, to slide down the other side. Uh, as David has said many times, until the wheels are up on that plane and Sean and David and Congressman and all are on it, uh, it's not a done deal. And, and uh, hopefully... That's going to happen soon. I'm going to hug him and kiss him and tell him how much I love him and how much I've missed him and go on from there. And hopefully, again, that'll happen soon, hopefully by, by Christmas. Vicky, what could the family in Brazil do? I mean, they're saying no more appeals, but what, what legal maneuver would they have left? You know, I think other than an appeal, they're probably trying to get stipulations, as Mark had alluded to, DeAngelis, saying that perhaps they want to come to the United States to see Sean, continued phone visits, um, put some other restrictions on the return. And at this point, they don't really have the leverage to do that. Mm -hmm. The lower court has ruled that Sean's going to go home. So I think that's probably what's ha happening uh, behind closed doors, but I don't think it's going to work. Mark DeAngelis, has David seen Sean? Has that reunion happened yet? No. 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 I got, I had an email from him. Uh, it's been a couple hours now, but he was more or less holed up in his hotel room with his attorneys and um, with Congressman Smith, and they're just waiting waiting for the call that okay. he can go and pick him up, but, but nothing yet. Okay, let's bring in Dr. Mark uh, Goulston. Uh, doctor, what is the best way uh, for this reunification to take place, beginning with that first reunion that could take place within hours? Well, I think the key is is that uh, the dad just uh, show his son how, how glad he is to see him. I think the dad should resist the temptation, as everyone should, to race in and imagine uh, what the what the, the son is feeling. I, I think what's important is what you get uh, your son to tell you, as opposed to what you tell him. Uh, don't don't overload him with all kinds of things that you think he might be mm -hmm. thinking of or worried about. Uh, you know, field his questions and, and, and again, be positive. Uh, so glad you're coming home uh, or coming to another home. Uh, also, don't try and talk him out of whatever feelings he has for his Brazilian family because that has yet to be figured out in terms of his future. So you don't want to put him in the position of making someone wrong and being in between uh, because he's going to be confused enough as it is. So you're just saying let the little nine-year-old talk and don't try and analyze it any more than you have to. Right, because a lot of times you will we'll put on him that he's thinking about all these kinds of uh, questions that we imagine he might have, and he might just be asking you, how long's the plane ride? Right. Yeah, something simple like that. Okay. We're going to continue our conversation, and we will hear from David Goldman on, on what he thinks the right steps are as he reunifies with his son, Sean. And again, we'll take your calls, one eight seven seven tell hln That's the way it will play out. If it makes sense for Sean to have contact with him, then that's what David wants. Okay. Guys, thanks again. Uh, Dr. Goulston, Mark DeAngelis, Vicki Ziegler, we appreciate it. Uh, coming up, but keeping you updated on...